What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So it is almost graduation time for many of you and that means board reviews. So if you are getting prepared to take your boards, this video is for you. Let's get into the video right now. All right, so I wanted to talk to you guys today about Rosh Review's Pants Cubing and their Mox Pants exam. Now, many of you are getting ready to graduate. It is August, which is crazy that the year is almost over. You guys are almost like full-fledged PAs! Because you, at the end of this month, a lot of you will be PAs, but you won't be PACs because you have to take your boards to actually get certified to get that C. Um, and so to do that, you have to pass your boards. So I wanted to talk about Rosh Review's Pants Cubing and their pants like mock exam because I really think that repetition is the key to life. So um, if you go to roshreview.com, you will be able to go into their site and actually see all that they have to offer for the PA student and the PAC. Now, if you are a PA student and you are about to take your boards, this is where you need to be. So there is um, end of rotation exams, which you would have already gone through. Yay! Yeah, so happy for you guys but when you slide down there's an option for the pants Q bank it has over 3800 nccpa styled questions so that you can get used to taking board exams and specifically taking like the nccpa pants exam because that is like the the coup de croix is that what is, am i using that phrase right i don't know but that is what you actually need to do to get your c um to be able to be certified to actually practice as a pa so when you go in to learn more in pricing let's just click learn more oh look it says it's time to get that c So yes, it is time to get that C and how can you do that? By studying and then passing your boards. So they have actual like, like a little tester question for you so you can see what it's like, what you, the type of question that you will get, which is nice for people to actually just get a little bit of a review. It shows you like what the right answer is, what the wrong answer is, which is it, absolutely what you need and then an explanation on why the right answer is right and why the wrong answer is wrong so if you're used to q banks you you're used to the kind of this format um because you, you're not going to get that obviously on your boards right you're just going to be taking the exam and then you're done um, and it's a long and draining exam and so the more repetition the more exposure you have to q banks and questions and the way questions are asked the simpler this is going to be for you, the less stressful it's going to be. Um, keeping in theme with how Rosh Review does their Q banks, there's going to be pictures so that you can also use that as kind of like a little visual. If you're more of a visual learner, that will help you um, understand like just the, the fine tune like pathophysiology and, and just like anatomy of things and, and how the disease process may be working, okay? And it also gives you analytics, again, keeping in theme with the Roche Review Q banks, it gives you an analytics on what you're, how well you're doing. Are you passing, you know, in terms of the questions being answered or are you not doing well? Like, like this person here is not doing as well in the cardiovascular aspect as they are in the endocrine type questions. So it gives you the option to see the areas that you need to focus on more um, and the areas that you need to focus a, a little less on. Because what I found was when I was studying for my boards, like to actually like pass the boards, I looked to see, okay, well, where, where can I give a little bit of leeway? Because if I'm like acing it in the women's health section, then I don't need to really do that much there. Or if I'm like killing it in musculoskeletal, maybe I need to focus a little bit more on my cards because in that area, I need a little bit extra help and I need a little extra push to get over the hump. So I really like that. And again, comparison to your peers. Um, this can be a little bit anxiety inducing for some, uh, but maybe a bit of a motivator for others. And so I would suggest that you look at it as a motivator to see like, okay, I'm on par with my peers or I need to kind of step my game up because then that again allows you to focus on the areas that you need to focus on um, through the analysis okay 
So let me just go back because uh, it does have this rapid review for you. Um, but I want to go back just so that you can see what the pricing is. So it is $4.79 for the premium. You're going to get 3,800 questions. Um, you're going to get even CME if you want that. And uh, there's like peak, the, this peak performance course, which shows you how to prepare for these high yield exams like your PANS and your GRE uh, and CLEX. Those are all high yield exams, okay? Um, you can also go to the standard, which is actually the most popular one. It's a little less expensive, 369. Um, you're still getting 3,800 questions. You're still getting your CME. You're not getting that peak performance course course uh, but if you want to learn how to succeed and you want access to these videos taught by Dr. Rosh then um, you might want to like just invest a little bit more in your future and in your learning experience by going to that premium for $4.79 and then the basic one is just your 38 questions and then the the uncommon delights okay so you're not getting that CME. So it's it's really up to you. Obviously, if you are a PA student, maybe you, you're not looking at CME because you don't have to worry about CME just yet. So the 269 basic might be the one for you, but for people who have to recertify um, for their boards, uh, doing these, these more standard or premium ones that have the CME involved is a better option okay so i would definitely look into that um i think it's really good and then also they have mock exams for you mock pants exams so that also again gets you into the mood of and the mode i would say of taking the exam you can Put this in like a test taking mode where it's quiet you're in a room by yourself just so you get used to doing that so that the day of the test you're not getting anxiety or stressed out um, because you know the environment that you were learning in isn't the same as the environment that you're actually going to be taking the test in uh, because that can happen so I'm trying to help you guys out okay I will leave the link for Rosh Reviews um, Pants QBank and their mock exams in the description box below please go check them out uh, it is very uh, a very good option for you all um, Rosh Reviews has some exciting things uh, lots of different webinars as well as flashcards various different sessions for you guys information sessions so I would suggest like being a part of the Rosh family and taking advantage of all of these resources that they have to offer because it's really good to help you not only succeed as a PA student but in the future once you become a PA all right so if you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Atlanta PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Don't forget to go check Ross Review out. I will leave that link for you. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.